Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful It's a reply to, uh, to help uh, my brother Yahya um, With this dream issue Subhanallah You know, I, I almost, I can say <laughs> That I, I predicted in a vision That this guy converted to Islam Is going to come up with some sort of wacky thing like that And look it, it can be two things as Yahweh says it can either be he's, be he's lying and we, we've already caught him with twisting things and uh, Yahya has proved it on many many videos uh, and posts that this guy has been playing around and twisting things and now it's becoming just ridiculous you know we've tried to be very diplomatic with him we've tried to accommodate him we've tried to be very nice to him to understand why he left Islam to, to really you know reach out for him but this is ridiculous now so either he's lying or as you said, uh, the, the, the devil visited him because he can in the dreams and the visions and so on to deceive the people. We find this extensively in the Islamic literature, in the previous uh, Mashiach, for example, in the uh, case of Abdul Qadir Jilani, where the devil came trying to fool him that he is God. Trying to fool him that he is God on a throne and a cloud and so on. Now, he didn't take the shape of God, Billah, and but basically tried to show or to make him believe that I am God. And he basically came to him and says, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm your Lord and you don't have to pray anymore. And Sheikh Abdul Qadir said, get away from me, O enemy of Allah. And as soon as he said that, he basically, you know, obviously showed his true face. Why did Sheikh Abdul Qadir say that? That's because he knew, he knew the reality of scripture. That God will never tell someone that you don't have to pray anymore. It just doesn't make sense. God will never come and tell you in a dream or this or that or Jesus and tell you that pray to me, uh, I'm your Lord or you don't have to pray or that there's a trinity. Anything that violates the universal concept of God. Forget about now names of religions, brothers and sisters. Think about the universal concept of God. God is one. It doesn't make sense that he's three, that he's a man that goes to the bathroom, that he sleeps, that he's tired, that he doesn't know, that he doesn't know what will happen, that he doesn't understand the understanding of the universe and the cosmos when he's asked, that he's a human being with a beard, that he's have to sleep, that he has to scratch his back. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. You can put in as much emotion as you want into it and give as many things. Then you have to be angry at life and angry at Muslims and terrorists and ISIS and this and that and try to always be, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to do anything, man. The reality is that God is one. You deal with it. Whatever life throws at you, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides to put in your way as a test, you have to take it as a man or a woman. And stop crying like a baby and try to make up ridiculous philosophies and explanations for your sad state. That's exactly what I have to say. I want to share some dreams I sh and I swear by Allah the Almighty to strike me right now while I'm driving, to kill me, to whatever that these things happen. Okay, I swear by Allah that this dream happened to me. Now, even though I swear by Allah this dream happened, am I going to use it as a proof that, yeah, Islam is the truth, yeah. Okay, I dreamt about Jesus. And Jazakallah Khair, Brother Yahya put that video. And But I explained, I think maybe in that video, another video, that I dreamt about Jesus. And what was my dream? I dreamt that Jesus was coming in a car. Okay? And I'm driving Jesus actually, and he's in the car. And we're coming together to meet some people. And he's laying in the back of the car wearing a thobe, a kandura. An Arabic Islamic thobe. Or, you know, an Arabic thobe. And he's wearing running shoes. I don't know why. Kickers, sneakers, okay? I don't know why. And he's got long hair, beard, darker complexion, brown. And he's tired, he's sleeping, he's basically resting. You know when you're driving with your buddy sometimes and he's sleeping in the back of the car? Okay, that's exactly what happened, right? And he woke up, he was like slumbering, and he woke up, and you know, I basically said, we arrived, you know? And all these people came running towards us, okay? Saying, Jesus is coming, Jesus, God is coming, Jesus is coming. And basically, what Jesus said, SubhanAllah, he said something like, these people are wrong, you know? Like, look at me, I'm sleeping, I'm tired, and they're saying I'm God? Look at me, I'm in the back of your car, sleeping. 
and they're saying I'm God. Look how wrong they are. All right? This is what I dreamt. And it was very vivid. And when I woke up, I was very, you know, in touch and very moved by this dream. Now, I didn't get up on YouTube and be like, people, you have to embrace Islam because I dreamt about Jesus and Jesus, I swear Jesus is God and I would be like, or something like that. Or, oh, sorry, Jesus is uh, uh, not God or he's a Muslim or he's this or or as Christian. No, that's what, that's what uh, uh, Christians, you know, uh, do. Oh, Jesus is God. I dreamt about Jesus. He says he's God. We should worship him. This is ju just ridiculous. Is it ridiculous? I also know of other people who have dreamt about Jesus telling them to convert to Islam. Telling them that he is the prophet of Allah. And he's subhanAllah, you know. So many things. Then you had the guy um, in the Philippines, that priest, who came out of the coma. And he converted to Islam because he said he had in the coma, God came to him and all these visions and dreams that Islam is truth. And then he became Muslim. And he, okay, good, that's your subjective uh, exposure, your subjective thing. Whether it's true or not, or this or that, Allah knows best. But don't try to come up with these things that you will prove it and that you're just, this is silly. Stop your silliness, man. Honestly, people, I've seen now comments from Christians as well who are saying like, man, this is too much, you know, in some of your videos. Maybe not this one, but in some of your videos where people are losing already trust in you because you're just playing around. I wonder how much you're making out of this. I wonder, you go found me. What is it right now? What, which companies or churches or, you know, are contacting you? Did you just, you weren't able to get enough, uh, uh, enough uh, attention from the atheists and all the other people? So now you know that Christians, mashallah, they have uh, uh, some good money and they have good funds and maybe someone's going to see you and pick you up and start supporting. I mean, you know, come on, think about it. You need, you need to think about it a little bit. That it sounds ridiculous. No one, you know, subhanAllah, when, when these people run out of arguments and they're basically responded to and Zakulah khair, brother Yahya and other people who are putting the proofs out there. Then they start coming up with these dreams. I had a dream. And all the Christians are like, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Any debate. Anything. When the Christian or the non-Muslim loses and the Muslim puts the rational proofs forward, the scriptural proofs forward, excuse me, the scriptural proofs forward, from the Bible, from the Quran, from whatever. And they just say, I had a dream. And Jesus loves me. Hallelujah. And everyone, hallelujah. And that's it. It's all emotional, emotional landslide, emotional tornado from there on. Man, who do you think you're fooling, man? Honestly, that is just ridiculous, ridiculous. Come up with some argument, okay? Bring your dream so we can cross-examine it. What are you going to do? You're going to bring a dream as a witness? Ah, come on, man. The Hindus have dreams about their Babas and about their, their uh, Bhagwans and all that. What are you going to do? You're going to tell the, the, Hebrew, the, 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 the Hindu days. Yeah, come on, man. The you know Chinese dream about their ancestors. They come and tell them. Dreams are, as we said, of different ca categories. It can be from your mind. It can be from Shaitan. It can be a revelation to righteous people towards the end of the day. Towards the day, many things. But it can be a, a, a human mind product. Psychology, things that you thought about, things that you read about, can come back. A movie that you watch sometimes, you'll find that you'll start dreaming certain things from that because your mind has been exposed to that. And you basically have rapid eye movement, basically, where your eyes move fast, and it starts basically, the images start being projected, and you start seeing that in your dream. So you've been thinking so much about how to disprove Islam these days, so you had a dream about it, and Jesus came to you, you know? White Jesus came to you, and he showed you, he looks like this, and then he, he picks some picture from, from the internet, and he puts it up there. Well, and he, what happened to reason and rationale? What happened to academic integrity? What happened to speaking the truth, man? Anyone out there? It's just ridiculous. SubhanAllah, man. It's frustrating. You know? 
What, what, what about the, the, the Jews who have dreams? What, you know, I've saw these, you know, the Hindus, the, the Buddhists who have visions and meditate and their ancestors come to them and guide them and so on like that. Where's Jesus there? Why is, why is Jesus not showing up, man? Is he discriminating? He's, got, he's racist? What's going on? Why? You know what, man? This is just too much, too much.